Obi-Wan Kenobi is arguably one of the most powerful and iconic Jedis in the entire Star Wars fandom. But did you know that the actor behind the character, Ewan McGregor, almost turned down the role? Honestly, we're shocked too. If you want to know all the details, especially why he almost said no to the part, stick with us. We're filling you in. Anyways, without further ado, let's dive in. First things first, let's talk about his role in Star Wars. Everyone knows Obi-Wan Kenobi, the legendary general and Jedi master who is living in solitude on the isolated desert planet Tatooine, until a certain farm boy named Luke Skywalker brings him a droid with a message from Princess Leia, who is leading the rebellion. That moment kicked off the original franchise, but Obi-Wan Kenobi was played by the similarly legendary actor Alec Guinness. When Ewan McGregor took on the role of the character, he was playing the younger version of of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Star Wars prequel trilogy. The first movie, The Phantom Menace, worked on expanding the Jedi's backstory, focusing on how he slowly rose through the ranks from Jedi Padawan apprentice to knight and eventually master after meeting his later pupil Anakin Skywalker. If you know, you know. Anyways, taking on the role of the iconic Obi-Wan Kenobi was no joke. Guinness had already played the character flawlessly and was already a household name even before taking on the series. He had some pretty big shoes to fill. Not only that, McGregor had to make sure his acting stayed in tune with the older version Guinness portrayed. He had a daunting task to perform and he did it flawlessly, going on to play the younger Obi-Wan Kenobi in the next two movies of the prequel series, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. His best performance was definitely in the final movie of the trilogy, where he became one with the role and mastered both the dramatic and sarcastic sides of the character. Now the name Ewan McGregor is pretty much synonymous with the Star Wars franchise. Next up, did you know Ewan McGregor almost turned down playing Obi-Wan Kenobi? Yep, that's right. We couldn't believe it either. Considering Ewan McGregor fits into the role of Obi-Wan Kenobi so flawlessly, why would the actor ever have thought of denying the role? Turns out there is only one culprit that is almost to blame. Train spotting. McGregor shared the shocking information on Smartless, a podcast by Jason Bateman. There, he said he was in a different mindset at the time. He had just gotten out of acting in the movie Train Spotting, his 1996 collaboration with Danny Boyle, and so he had a very different career trajectory in mind for himself. The Scottish actor jokingly shared that in those days, he felt he was more on the urban grunge side, and that he was the oasis of the British movie industry. Train Spotting is a black comedy set in Scotland, where McGregor played the role of Renton, a heroin addict trying to clean up his act. When Star Wars came along, he knew he'd be attached with the Star Wars universe forever, and McGregor wasn't sure he wanted that. He thought of himself as more of an indie British actor than one who is involved in mainstream projects. It makes sense. Making a life-changing decision like this takes time, especially when you're not so sure about it in the first place. Coming up, what changed you and McGregor's mind? Even though McGregor was at first a little bit on the edge about joining the Star Wars universe, we're really glad he ended up saying hello there in the end. But still, the question remains, what changed his mind? Turns out, it was because of a childhood love for the franchise. In the podcast, McGregor shared that he kept on putting off the decision again and again, but the time to make it was nearing closer every day. He could remember doing recall and screen tests and even going on to meet George Lucas. By the time it got down to just two or three people to take the part, McGregor realized that he was just too attached to the role to let it go. He even went on to say that getting a chance to be Obi-Wan Kenobi and playing the younger version of Alec Guinness was pretty awesome. Remember, just like you and McGregor might be Obi-Wan to some of us, the actor grew up with his own version of the character in his mind from the original series. That is, Alec Guinness had always been his Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ewan McGregor actually did speak about this a while ago, back in May. He actually had a familial connection to the Star Wars franchise. His uncle, Dennis Lawson, was in all three of the original movies and played the part of Wedge Antilles, and his family would take him out every time to see the latest movie in the Star Wars series to see his uncle on screen. The really interesting part here though is that when McGregor got offered the role, his uncle actually told him not to take it. Whatever the reason behind his suggestion, it only made McGregor want to take on the role more. And thankfully he did. 
Finally, Ewan McGregor has reprised his role in the Disney Plus series. Star Wars fans will be hyped to know that this isn't the last we've seen of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The iconic Jedi will be back for a limited six-part series on Disney Plus, a series which is literally called Obi-Wan Kenobi, and will be completely and entirely focused on the character. Set ten years after the fall of the Republic and Jedi Order in Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan remains in hiding while he watches Luke from afar. Fans will be even more hyped to know that Ewan McGregor Gregor will be reprising his role for the character, and even better, Hayden Christensen will be reprising his role as Darth Vader as well. Now, moving on to other news. First up, Squid Game's Lee Jung Jae lands male lead in Star Wars series The Acolyte from Leslie Headland and Lucasfilm. Looks like the Squid Game star Lee Jung Jae has found a major studio role following his breakout in a property more popular than the Netflix global phenomenon, that on the eve of his potentially historic Emmy night too. According to Deadline, Lee has been cast as the male lead in Lucasfilm's new Disney Plus Star Wars series The Acolyte. Amanda Steinberg is expected to play the other lead, and apparently Jodie Turner-Smith will also join the cast. At the moment, exact details about Lee's character are being kept under wraps. The Acolyte is a mystery thriller set in the latter days of the High Republic era, according to Disney Plus, which announced the project in December 2020. In the Star Wars universe, an Acolyte is someone who learns Force abilities from a more experienced experienced Sith Lord. Landing Lee for the Acolyte is actually a huge win for Lucasfilm and Headland, given that every studio and streaming service wanted to work with the Squid Game breakout star. It's been a year since the Netflix series aired, shattering streaming records, earning 14 Emmy nominations and making Lee and his co-stars household celebrities. He and Jung Ho Yan will both be Emmy presenters next week. Next up, John Boyega thought Obi-Wan Kenobi was phenomenal for Hayden Christensen. John Boyega may not be coming back to play Finn in Star Wars anytime soon, but that doesn't mean he isn't keeping up with the new Disney Plus projects in the works. In reality, he was a big fan of Obi-Wan Kenobi, especially Hayden Christensen's role in it. Boyega told The Wrap at the premiere of Jordan Peele's latest horror film Nope that he's been on top of all the new shows despite his own hectic schedule. Of course I've watched them, he shared enthusiastically. I watched them the first day they came out, he said. Boyega also added that he especially liked Disney's most recent series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, since it reintroduced Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, also known as Darth Vader. Boyega made it obvious that while Anakin may not be everyone's favorite, he definitely has a lot of love for the character. He said that it was great to see Ewan McGregor back in his role, but it was especially good to see my guy back, and that it was really great to see more of Anakin Skywalker's backstory. And finally, Hayden Christensen reveals insane weight gain for Star Wars Return. Hayden Christensen is already a legend in the Star Wars universe, he's even more so now that we've learned that he's been gaining a ton of weight so he could get back into his Darth Vader armor once again. Every Star Wars fan is super excited to see more of the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker in flashback sequences throughout Obi-Wan Kenobi, but with only one episode remaining, it's safe to predict that Darth Vader will be taking over the streaming screen. While fans are still thrilled to see Hayden Christensen reprise his role as Darth Vader, the actor went through an impressive physical transformation to fit out the fan famous Vader suit, who has gained over 30 pounds already, according to sources. If there's one thing that's for sure, it's that Hayden's giving his all for his epic Star Wars return. That's a wrap for this video. Could you imagine anyone else taking on the role of young Obi-Wan Kenobi? We seriously can't. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.